This is how working at a Trappist monastery turned me into an extrovert. Catholic for a monde moderne. I started working at this monastery late last Christmas. I just graduated school. So I was always an introvert in college. I didn't talk to anyone in high school. So how did this happen? How did I become an extrovert? It wasn't having the podcast, though that might be the obvious answer, talking to people for a living. It's really, it really goes much deeper. So at the monastery every day, part-time, from about 7 in the morning till about noon, I make fudge. Making chocolate fudge, peanut butter fudge, white chocolate fudge, all of it. So when you make fudge, you're not thinking of yourself. You can't think of yourself. You have to focus. You have to do what's in front of you. You're always noticing things outside of you. Did I turn the heat on? Did I turn the agitator on? Did I dump the sugar in the kettle yet? All of those small things. If you were to think interiorly about anything else, then something would quickly go wrong. And that does happen. There are these moments, these lapses, where I start to have some deep contemplative thought and suddenly something goes wrong. There is room to be a really devout and interior person, but there are times and places for everything. Of course, a good introvert or a good extrovert knows when to not say something or better yet they know what they shouldn't say a bad extrovert is always talking about everything and that's not the type of extrovert you want to be you want to have some control of your speech constantly judge what you're about to say before you say it and a lot of virtue can be gained from from holding in things that, that perhaps are funny or perhaps are neutral to say however they come from that worldly itch so yeah since working at this monastery suddenly i started talking to everyone i'll talk to strangers on the street at walmart when i go to do things because i have learned that if you have something good to say and you keep it to yourself that's selfish saint francis de sales talked a lot about that in the introduction to the devout life there are many times when just simply speaking to someone, nowadays everyone's quiet. I told the story before about how I returned from World Youth Day where there was nearly two million people and I returned to Kroger. And the, just the, the shift was mainly like just people weren't talking to one another at Kroger. Everyone was talking to everyone at World Youth Day. Though they were complete strangers here, they were all from the same town some of them even knew each other, some of them went to high school with one another, passed by one another awkwardly, and they still didn't talk. So why is that? A lot of people are just constantly thinking of themselves, or thinking of their desires, they're constantly thinking of the daily stresses of life. Really, they should be focused more outwardly. You have to have a good mix of the interior and exterior life. The contemplative and active life. St. Bernard really mastered that. He would go out on all these missions, saving the church during a schism, or, or leading soldiers during the Crusades. However, he would often only do that because he felt called to do that. He would return quickly to the monastery as soon as he could, where he would then rest where he would immerse himself in silence and in work for months on end so that he could really build up that interior life. You have to have the interior life to be a good extrovert. And really, once you develop that inner fire, a fire once lit, say a candle once lit, you don't put something over top of it. You don't keep it from spreading. It has to spread. So really, we should spread the light of the gospel the joy of the gospel and we can do that by talking to others talking to strangers so yes that's why i kind of made this video and why i want to encourage anyone listening to do that to be able to approach anyone you just have to keep maybe three things in mind i'll see if i can reach three um, you have to be open to listening to them open to what they tell you a lot of Maybe introverted people don't want to hear what other people have to say. They're not interested in what that person's interested in. But you just have to listen. 
especially for evangelization. If you want to evangelize, you have to hear what people are saying. You also shouldn't try to reinvent the will every time you talk to someone. Keep in mind those basic phrases. Hello, what's your name? How are you? How are you doing? Those simple things, the small talk that maybe introverts will, they don't enjoy, no one enjoys it, but everyone has to do it. Because that small talk gives you time to notice things, to think of other things to talk about, to eventually transition into deeper things. And I didn't make it to three, but I, I gave it one good try. So let me know what you think about this video. Do share it, subscribe it, or subscribe to the channel more so. I'm still getting used to this whole YouTube thing. I want to start putting in more time on these videos, more production value. Thank you all. May God bless you. And keep me in your prayers. I'll stop there. Wait, you became an extrovert because you made fudge with Trappist? Yeah, at a, at a Trappist monastery known for silence. Known for silence. All right, well. All right. <laughs> not going to question it. Lord, we ask you to bless this instrument and use it for good and for evangelization. Amen.